Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we love new clothes, right? Brand new clothes. They don't need to be ironed or steamed. The color is so vibrant. I mean, why should you be washing them? Should you be washing brand new clothes? That is the question. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm a board certified dermatologist, Dr. Shirazi. And the answer is yes. And I'm gonna tell you why. But before we get started, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. And comment below. Let me know if you are one of the few people that washes their brand new clothes. So what I'm about to tell you may actually kind of shock you or it may gross you out, but it's the reality of things. And as a dermatologist, I do recommend that people, especially if you have sensitive skin, to wash brand new clothes, particularly workout clothes and fabrics like polyester. So let's talk about why. So you might think they're brand new. Why in the world would you want to wash brand new clothes? They are not dirty because they're new, right? But they could actually be harming your skin, if not now, in the long run. If they contain toxins or allergens that sensitize your skin over time and cause reactions down the line, a lot of times they leach out of the article of clothing and onto the skin. And I'm not just talking about like inexpensive stuff. I'm talking about your expensive apparel as well. It's not really about the price point. So you may not know this, but most apparel manufacturing companies are located in urban industrial areas with high concentration of people, high traffic, and a lot of pollution. So they tend to have questionable air quality with not great ventilation. So a lot of times they may have like a few windows open, but the air is not really circulating like it should. So a lot of those pollutants may actually be circulating in the manufacturing plant and may be landing on your clothing. By the time it gets to you, it may look fine because they're not things that you can actually see on the clothing. So that's one aspect of it. So even if a factory has great ventilation, not a lot of pollution, there's still chemicals that are used for processing some of the fabric, some of the dyes in the apparel that may be harmful to your skin. For example, lead is one that's found in really bright clothing. So think of your neons and your bright colored fabrics that may be contaminated with that. Another chemical formaldehyde. A lot of times they're used in clothes that don't wrinkle, so the non-wrinkle garments. There's also PFC, floral carbon-based water repellent. So you know the dry fit clothing that you might be wearing. And then lastly, AZO dispersed dye. This is a carcinogenic synthetic dye that can actually be easily absorbed onto the skin and can lead to what's called contact dermatitis. Contact dermatitis is when you have contact with an article of clothing or a chemical and a day or two later, you see a reaction, typically in the same sort of pattern as what was contacting your skin. It's so funny because I was just on a trip last week to Costa Rica, which is hot and humid, and this woman knew that I was a dermatologist and she brought her little girl over to me and she said, hey, do you mind looking at her foot, curbside consult at your resort, um, and do you mind looking at her foot? We just purchased these brand new expensive leather thong sandals for her and she's worn them for a few days or five days and now she has this reaction and we think it's from the sandals because it's in the same sort of area as where the leather is touching the skin and sure enough it was contact dermatitis from the brand new never worn before expensive leather thong sandals that this little girl was wearing and I told her yeah you know you should probably wash them or let them soak in water to try to get any excess chemicals off because the first time you wear it especially if it's hot you're sweating if there's friction and rubbing like you would get with sandals then those chemicals are more likely to leach out of that article of clothing or that leather sandal and and get 
absorbed onto the skin to cause the reaction. So one last chemical would be quinolone, which is found in polyester, and it actually can be in pretty high levels. That can also cause an allergic contact dermatitis. And again, anytime there is friction, rubbing, they're sweating, it's warm, it's gonna leach out even more and it's gonna get absorbed even more by the skin. There's some evidence that it could be carcinogenic, so it may be okay in small doses, but long-term and how much accumulation is the question here. Now remember, it's not always the poison, it's the dose. So I don't want you to freak out when you watch this video. I notice this a lot in workout clothes because we sweat, we're active, there's a lot of friction and we're you know, wearing them for quite a bit of time. And so the chemicals leach out onto the skin and particularly if you notice it like where the armpits go against the skin, you know, where that's like kind of tight right there or along the waistbands or sort of bra areas if it's like a sports bra you're wearing. But under those circumstances, you're gonna get a lot more chemicals leaching out and getting onto the skin and absorbed by the skin than if you were, if it was loose and you, you, know, you wore it just once and washed it again. And remember guys, you may not see this like right away the same day that you wore the clothing. It may be delayed, two days, five days, because this is a delayed hypersensitivity reaction. And so it may not be evident right away. And, and you may not be allergic the first time you wear it, but again, long-term, over time, you can become more and more sensitized. And I know, who wants to wash their brand new clothing? Probably no one, but I would suggest this turning them inside out because really it's the inside of the clothing that touches your skin. And then either soak them in cold water for 10 minutes and then tumble dry on low in the dryer or hang or flat dry them. And you may wanna use a little bit of detergent because again, you don't really know. There's a lot of people that may have handled the clothing even though it may not appear soiled. It might be good just to add just a small amount of detergent. All right guys, I hope that was helpful. I don't mean to freak you out. I'm not a chemical phobic person, but this is something that I have seen in the office and recently saw, so I thought I would jump on here and inform you about it. Thanks for tuning in. Comment below, let me know if you have any questions or if you have any other topics you want me to cover next.